Say hi to everyone. Gohan and I have done this video before, but we weren't really too specific and we were getting a lot of questions still on measurements and all of that. So now for this video, we will be making it a lot easier for you guys. So for the best way to remove fleas and ticks naturally, this is what you will need. You will need a dog that has a little bit of fleas. Gohan has very few fleas because of what we do. So you will need a dog, of course. Try to get a bucket. We have one of these, a nice scrub. Dog shampoo, doesn't matter. We're using this so we could show you exactly how much to use some vinegar and a comb. Hey buddy, let's begin. Give me a paw. Good boy, let's begin. <laughs> so first, we must wet go on. So you will be grabbing your bucket Add some water in there. For a few seconds, it doesn't have to be too much. So you guys see, it's not that much, it's a few. Then you will add your dog shampoo. You add as much as you want. There's not an exact measure. And now, for the questions that I've been getting mostly, was how much vinegar do you use? I didn't really have an exact measurement because it doesn't really matter as long as it's not too much. So I'm going to be showing you how much I use right now. Pour about two thirds of a cup. You pour it in the bucket. So now this bucket has water, dog shampoo, and vinegar all mixed in there. I'm going to be using the measuring cup I brought out. Just so you can pour it onto them a little easier. Now remember, when you pour this onto them, try to do it neck down. You don't want this getting in their eyes, of course. So to scrub it in good, we bought this glove that you could use if you'd like. And of course, you rub it in. After he's a little dry is of course to comb your dog. This helps remove the hair and even some fleas that might still be on. So the last step is to comb your dog. Look who's all clean, buddy. Clean and tick free, right? <laughs> you feel better, don't you? You're so cute, buddy. You're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. 